This tutorial explains how to fix the error message start count can only have an X or Y aesthetic using the ggplot2 package in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing and you can click on this data frame and then you will see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, X and Y, whereby the first column contains letters and the second column contains numeric values. Now, if you want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six. I have installed the package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geombar. So let's assume that we want to draw a ggplot2 bar plot in R. Then we might try to apply the code that you can see in lines eight and nine. However, if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message start count can only have an X or Y aesthetic is returned. And the reason for that is that we have not specified start identity within the geombar function. So if you specify start to be equal to identity, as you can see in line 12 of the code, the plot is properly drawn, as you can see by running line 11 and 12. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that a plot is created at the bottom right, and you can see that no error message is returned anymore in the RStudio console. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.